the bomber who stoked fear in Austin over the last three weeks with a deadly rash of package explosions left behind a treasure trove of information before he blew himself up Wednesday, officials said. Mark Anthony Condit, 23, was identified as the mastermind behind a string of package bombs that killed two people and wounded at least four more since March 2. We know that the mastermind behind these bombings is deceased. Texas Gov. Greg Abbott said on Fox News Wednesday morning. Cops tailed Condit on a Texas interstate after he drove off from a red roof in parking lot outside of Austin, where they'd been watching his car for several hours. He detonated an explosive just before 3 a.m. local time, cops said, after he pulled the vehicle into a ditch and a SWAT team closed in. It's unclear if Condit was employed in the build-up to the bombings, which had put Austin on high alert for nearly a month, and he doesn't have a criminal record. Condit's social media accounts went dark in the weeks leading up to the deadly string of package bombs, the governor said. Facebook, the things that he posted in the past before these crimes arose, there were no red flags clearly saying, this is the guy who set up these bombs. Abbott said, there are few traces of a social media presence aside from a blog with six posts, all from 2012 believed to be penned by Condit and appear to be for a government class at Austin Community College. The short posts riff in support of the death penalty and against gay marriage and sex offender registration lists. Homosexuality is not natural, he's believed to have written in a May 11, 2012 post. Just look at the male and female bodies. They are obviously designed to couple. In another from April 13, 2012, he tried to make a four-paragraph case against giving free abortions. First, if a woman does not want a baby, or is incapable of taking care of one, she should not participate in activities that were made for that reason, he wrote. Lauren Elliott, Reuters, school spokeswoman Jessica Vess confirmed the bomber enrolled at the school in 2010, declared a major in business administration. But Condit abruptly dropped out in 2012 and never returned or graduated. He has not attended since that time, she said in a statement to the Daily News. We are working with Austin Police Department to provide any information they need. Vess noted that Condit was in good academic standing when he left the college. Condit was previously homeschooled, the Austin Statesman reported. His mother wrote in 2013 that Condit had recently completed his a high school deduction, but wasn't going immediately going to continue his education. I officially graduated Mark from high school on Friday. One down, three to go. He has 30 hours of college credit too, but he's thinking of taking some time to figure out what he wants to do, maybe a mission trip. Thanks to everyone for your support over the years, she wrote in a Facebook post. Drew Anthony Smith, Getty Images, Condit always seemed like he was smart and polite to Jeffrey E.B., who's lived next to the bomber's parents in Pflugerville for the last 17 years. Law enforcement has converged on the Austin suburb, where Condit lived with two roommates, and rummaged through his house for clues. I think there was a treasure trove of information in his house, as well as digital information, that should shed light more upon who he is, what he was doing and why he was doing it. Abbott told Fox News. But it's unclear what drove Condit to set off at least four bombs in Austin since March 2. We do not understand what motivated him to do what he did. Austin Police Chief Brian Manley told reporters. We'll be part of the continuing investigation as we try to learn more about him and to understand why he took the actions he did. Abbott later told local NBC affiliate KXAN that Condit is believed to be the man in a crazy disguise who was captured on surveillance footage dropping off two packages to an Austin FedEx store Sunday night. Eric Gay at Pflugerville Mayor Victor Gonzalez said residents were startled Wednesday morning as law enforcement flooded the town, located about 20 miles north of Austin, Gonzalez said. Condit's roommates are cooperating with investigators, Abbott told Fox News. I would venture to say those two roommates are not at this time suspects, he said, adding they were cooperating with police. ATF Special Agent in Charge Fred Milanovsky said it's hard to say, at this point if he had any help. Abbott, speaking on Fox News, said it didn't appear Condit ever served in the military. With Newswire